Hello and welcome back to Brizzy and this is a mini course that we are doing for global blocks and their conditions. Now you probably have worked with global blocks. If you've never done it, then this is a must do course for you. And if you have, I think it's always good to kind of revisit things because there are a number of updates that may have happened over the months and years as we have introduced global blocks that you may not be aware of. And this is a feature that's often overlooked. You kind of forget about global blocks and then later on you're like, what do I use it for? Oh yeah, for headers. No, not only headers. Let's have a look at it. And we're going to do a number of videos in this playlist series here. And for the first one today, we'll only be looking at the core of what a global block is. And for that, I'm only going to use Brizzy free. Now, what I'm showing you is going to work for WordPress and cloud. At the very end of this playlist, I'll cover a feature that is applicable to Brizzy Cloud only, and that will also be for Pro. And that will be how you use the templates and the conditions when you are designing assets, blogs in Brizzy Cloud. But for the first part of the series, I'll switch between WordPress and Cloud to show you everything can be applied. Let's talk about the core of global blogs. And we start off with Brizzy Free. I'm currently in Cloud, but can be done in WordPress as well. By the way, my name is JP. Thanks for visiting us. Remember to give us a like for this video and let's dive into what you can do with global blocks. I have a two pager website here because I want to keep things simple. This is my first page and then I've set up another one about page. What I want to achieve here is that I have this contact form section at the bottom. I want this contact form to be on all my pages across my site. However, I want to make sure that if in the future I make any changes to the content here or I change something in terms of where this message will go, I don't need to go to each and every page to do that. I can just do it on one place within my site and it will also translate through to all the other pages on my site, basically syncing across my site. And that feature there, that is Global Blocks. Let's go into the builder and this is my so-called home page for this demo. Go to the block, all the way to the left, and you will see we have the option to make it global. Select that, and you are greeted with block conditions are available only in Pro. Does this mean you cannot use global blocks? Absolutely not. It only means you cannot use the conditions. What do you do from here? You either go Pro or you just close out the window, and that's what we will do. A block is a global block and it indicates it's a global block when you see that little icon with a globe up there in the right corner of the block setting. That shows you it is a global block. If you go to your settings for the block, all the way you will see that you have the option to turn it off. If you click on display conditions, it's going to give you this prompt again that you need to go pro. So forget about that one. Now that I have created this global block, I need to go insert it also manually on the other pages where I want it to appear. I'll just update. I'm never sure when you do this kind of thing, if I need to save it or not. So for safety measure, I'll go ahead and save it. Control S, Command S. Let's load the other page. Go to our dashboard. And then from pages, you will see here is the About page. And I'll select Edit. In WordPress, you're just going to load the new page within WordPress. I'll scroll to the bottom. This is where I want to add that global block let's say over here, and then click on it and it opens the block manager for us where you have your blocks layout saved and yes, your global blocks. Selecting that, now you see the one that we have activated as a global block appears here. Select it, it drops it in and it looks exactly like the other one. All you need to do is save. Again, it doesn't tell me to save, but I'm pretty confident I need to save it. And let's go to the front end. Now this is the home page. So what we should see is that when I click on about now, that that block is also going to appear at the bottom. Here's our about page, scroll to the bottom, and there it is. What makes it different to a saved block is that when I change any of this content now for this global block on any of the other pages, it will also update on all the other places with this global block, basically syncing. Let's go to this page, which is the About page, and we make a few drastic changes. First, we change the background. Let's put it in that nasty color. 
Let's change contact us also to a different color. We make it bigger. And we can even add an image over here just to liven it up a little bit. And let's bring in an image. Something very simple like that. Update, Control S, Command S. And you can select Preview. Let's do that. Control Shift P or Command Shift P on a Mac. Know these shortcut features, they really speed up your workflow. This is the About page that we've been working on. And you can see those changes have updated here. Go to the top. And now when I select Home page, because it is a global block, we expect to see the same result. Scroll to the bottom, and we are not disappointed. That's what the global block is all about and why this is such a great feature. If you're running ads or you're running promos across your site, you can just add it one time, and then you can just switch out the content, and it will update every time you make changes to it. The conditions, though, is awesome. When you get to the pro version, which we will do in the next video, you will see that with conditions, you don't need to go and add it manually like we just did on each and every page. You just tell the condition, hey, I want this on these pages, and it will post it automatically to those pages. Before we go to Brizzy Pro and look at the conditions with Global Blocks, let's talk about how you remove it. Removing Global Blocks seems to be a little bit tricky for many first time users. The mistake that people make is to think that when you go to the block manager here where you see global blocks, is that this one determines whether the ones on the pages will be deleted or not. And the answer to that is no. If I delete this, it's not going to delete those on the pages. Again, if you have the pro version, it's very easy to remove them across site. But in this case, if you want to remove them, you will need to go manually and delete the block. That is the best way. And then I'll go to my dashboard. I'll select my home page to edit. Scroll to the bottom. And I can delete it or I can select to deactivate it as a global block and remove it. Now it's not connected to global blocks anymore. The moment you deselect a block or unsync it from the global blocks, it will not update anymore. It's now individual block by its own. Just remember, you cannot activate or link it again later to this specific global block. Now that you've deleted them all, you've unlinked them, and you go to your block manager, you can go to your global block and delete it from here, and it will be permanently deleted from here. That is the best way to safely clean your block manager. That's how global blocks work in the free versions for Brizzy WordPress and Brizzy Cloud. And in the next video, we'll look at the basic functioning of global blocks within the pro versions, where the conditions will rock and roll. From EJP, see you in the next one.